lifestyle. Sports cards and we live now. Jeremy Lee in the building and every guest that you ever needed. Sports cards after hours keep the hobby heated. Updates, hobby talk like you never seen it. Sports cards live and I could ever beat it. Sports cards is a lifestyle. Sports cards and we live now. Welcome to another episode of Sports Cards Live with your host, Jeremy Lee. <laughs> What is up, everybody? Welcome. Welcome to an episode of MC Mondays Live here on March the 25th. It is Monday. My name is Jeremy Lee. I want to welcome everybody. Thank you for joining. And we're going to just get right to it and bring out my co-host on MC Mondays Live, none other than Mr. Michael Hathaway. How are you, buddy? How's it going? I'm doing well, Jeremy. How about yourself? I am doing well, too. Good to be back for a regular MC. This is going to be a bit of a crazy night because MC Mondays historically has had, you know, 60 to 70 items. We've got over 90 to go through tonight, Michael. And when I was setting this up, I'm just going to give you guys a sneak peek here. Have a look at all these tabs open across the top here, guys. We've got, I think it's 93, something like that. We've got a lot to get through tonight and we're, we're going to do that. It's going to be fun. It's going to be, it's going to be nonstop action for about an hour and a half. But how are things going with you? How, uh, you know, the showcase auction, which are like the more premium items, the once a month auction, we did that last week. That was a lot of fun. That was that was awesome. How are things shaping up uh, for the showcase auction in April? Really awesome. You know, the great thing is that obviously there is that additional leap that it takes for clients to, you know, trust you on, hey, we're going to run a really big card on auction. But now that we have a couple showcases under the belt, proof of concept and also just people get used to it. people get excited for it they get excited for the stream for the big day um, now the submissions are really starting to roll in so our third showcase is going to launch on april 12th we are already at uh, 26 items so definitely in a great spot so we're about halfway where we were um, for the last auction as a whole and we still have a ton of lead time so we're pretty happy and we have a couple folks who have some items currently listed on fixed price um, with us that are now getting really comfortable to, hey, like the showcase is working really well. Clearly big cards are selling, they're getting paid for. Um, from the last showcase auction, we only had one card not get paid for. Um, so that's a pretty good percentage, right? And yeah. especially considering a lot of those cards did over comp. A lot of those cards were rare cards where you really do have one crack at it to get it right. Um, and it went really well. So unfortunately, only one uh, unpaid, but that's a pretty good ratio considering that yeah. it was well over 50 cards. So we're pretty happy. And yeah, definitely some some cool stuff. Some very nice uh, cut autos, obviously. Some very rare 90s inserts. Some PMGs in there. Some higher grade PMGs that haven't seen the market in a while. So definitely going to be a fun one. Good. You know, that is a great rate of auctions being paid. It's kind of funny that we, here we are, you know, 2024 and we, we celebrate when, when somebody honors their contract, we, we celebrate that as if somebody did something special, which is, it, which it, it is, it is, a, it's a, it's a good success that auctions are getting paid for. And uh, so here's a question for you. When, when the one auction that didn't get paid for in, in March's showcase, what what is the what what process or what steps does MC Sports Cards go through with that bidder to like do you guys look into who it is? Do you ban them from bidding? Do you block them from bidding? What what kind of process do you guys go through with an un, with a bidder who doesn't honor his contract? Yeah, so basically it starts as if it's been one or two days because listen, obviously sometimes somebody takes a day to pay for it. You know, people are busy, they have lives, they set up their snipe, they don't see the email until next morning. It happens. But once it gets to be about two or three days, we reach out to the bidder. We let them know, hey, you know, you do need to pay for this. Like you said, spoiler alert, you do have to honor a contract that you entered into. Um, we let them know. And honestly, 80% of the time, that's enough. It's just people either slip their mind or they're lazy. It is what it is. Um, and then at that point, if that message doesn't work, we send another message. We let them know, hey, if you don't pay, you will get an unpaid item strike. And we will ban you from bidding on future auctions. Um, that sometimes nudges some people, but frankly, at that point, you're getting into the period where you realize that th this person just wasn't intending to honor their bid when they put it in. This is not somebody who maybe has some cold feet. Uh, so at that point, we do have to wait a certain amount of days before eBay lets you cancel the item with an unpaid strike. We file that, we block the account. If it's somebody who we notice that, hey, maybe 
they bid on some other things in the past. We think they're going to circle back to it. We've had people make new accounts for the express purpose of bidding on them um, and mm -hmm. getting around the fact that they're blocked already. At that point, we'll take some steps to basically ensure, okay, we know that this person has been shilling this card, this card, and this card. So jot that down. If we run a NT of a certain player that we know, hey, this guy's going to do something funny, keep an extra eye on the bidding uh, on that item. And so that's generally the way that we approach it is, you know, it's a mixture of reactive and proactive and, you know, watching those bids as they go up and watching the zero feedbacks and getting a sense of, does this look right? Do we know that this is a card that's had some history where some people played yeah. games on auctions? But for the most part, once you block somebody, most people aren't stubborn or stupid enough to dedicate themselves to avoiding your block and, and continuing to shell things. Now, the, yeah. the downside is that obviously there's a decent amount of people who will shill something. And so you're always playing the game of whack-a-mole, but it's something that we take pretty seriously. Um, we've got a, a very, 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 very long block list and it gets uh, long every day, unfortunately, but also fortunately, because we do it not just for people who don't pay on $10,000 cards. If you don't pay on a $50 card, that's still a wrench in our gears. It's still preventing somebody from getting paid out on the card that they spent their hard earned money on. Yep. And it doesn't matter $10,000 or $50, you're still getting the way of that process you're still not honoring a contract and um, yeah, we're just going to block you. Makes sense. So the April showcase auction launches on April 12th and then it will end when uh, 10 days, it's a 10 day auction. So will it end on, is that, does that make it Monday the 22nd? 22nd. Yes. Correct. It'll end on Monday the 22nd. We'll be doing a showcase show that night. And then a couple of days later, I'll be flying to Toronto for the expo. Excited about that. We've got a few people who've joined the chat. Want to welcome everybody who is with us. We got people watching on X. We got people watching, a couple watching on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, feel free to hop over to YouTube. The Minion is here. What's going on, Minion? The Professor is here. Yep, we, this show, when we do any MC Mondays, whether it's Showcase or the regular, we're going to start, you know, about five or 10 minutes before the first auction ends. So if you're following MC Sports Cards on, on eBay, you can see when that first item ends and then you'll know that, you know, if we are doing a show for that, uh, that auction that week, we're going to start, you know, five, 10 minutes before that first auction ends. Professor says that he liked the preview that we gave of the auction uh, of tonight's auction on Saturday. Why don't, yeah, we did. I don't know if you know, Michael, but uh, I did an after hour show, my late show Saturday with uh, my friend, Joe Perot. And we, uh, we highlighted and previewed several items in tonight's auction. That was a lot of fun. Professor says, sending a couple of cards for grading. Hope MC has an SCL promo code we can use when my cards come back. Very cool, Professor. Appreciate that. Robert Scott, late dinner and MC Monday's combo for me tonight. That is nice to hear, Robert. Welcome to the show. Enjoy your dinner. And Jeff McMahon, good evening. Thanks for being here. All right, well, we got to get to the first item. The first item up for bid tonight on MC Monday's live, you guys, is this Josh Giddy 21 Panini Eminence. Game use patch auto emerald number two of three. Michael, very low print run, only three. We're down to 27 seconds. We're at $819. Tell us a couple things about this card. Yeah, really gorgeous. I mean, you've got what is that four color patch with multiple breaks, tons of stitching. The Thunder are really one of the most exciting teams in the league. So many big talents on there. Giddy slow down a little bit. So expect this to do like 1100 bucks, would be my gut guess. 839 with five seconds to go, guys. Three seconds now. Final call, 839. Looks like that might do it on 43 bids. 839 buys the Josh Giddy, and that is number one of 93 auctions that we are going to watch tonight. Next up, Luka Doncic, 2018 Panini Opulence Nouveau Riche Signature Auto, numbered out of 99. This is in uncirculated condition. Still has the Panini seal on the one touch. Right there, auto looks really nice. I what I like about this card, uh, Michael, is that it's clean, lots of white space, and the autograph for Luca. You know, it's unencumbered. I like the gold coloring up top where it says Reesh. Nice looking card. What do you think of it? Uh, I love this. Honestly, I thought that this was one of the better autos to come out of Opulence as opposed to the cards where it's all gold foil. Because, like you said, that stark white gives it a really nice contrast. 
Yeah. 1525, 1525, five seconds left to go. Three seconds now. Final opportunity. Looks like it's going to sell at $1,525. So far, we haven't seen much by the way of sniping, but I'm sure there will be some to come. Now, here we have, I love, I love on MC Mondays, we go from ultra modern basketball to T206 baseball. This is Tris Speaker. It's a Piedmont 350 back. It's a PSA 2.5. It looks like a very nice copy to me. I say that because of the centering. It's definitely a two and a half. You've got rounded corners. You've got edging issues. But overall, a great image of Mr. Speaker and good color as well. Great centering, Michael, don't you think? Yeah, I love this card. I love T206 slowly working on the whole set. And this is a gorgeous example. Like you said, really well centered. These usually only do like $900 to $1,000. We're already well over that because of how good that centering is. That's what it's got to be. That's right. Six seconds to go. We're at $1,239 down to two seconds here. Final alert. There we go. No more, no further bids. 38 bids, 1239 on the T206 Tris speaker. Here we go. We talked about this one on Saturday night. The Don Mattingly 1984 Don Russ rookie card this is a this is an iconic card michael i love it psa 10 tell us a bit about your thoughts so i'm gonna be honest th this has me showing my age a bit i had no clue that this card was as big a deal as it was um i oh, yeah. if you had asked me don manningly donner's psa 10 i'd say all right probably like a thousand dollars but these are really tough to get in tens they're super condition sensitive and you talk about a guy who needs to be in the hall it's Donnie baseball and so really it is that condition scarcity that drives the price on these so this is a little over comp right now but pretty pleased 3600 39 bids five seconds left it's a pop 321 3650 now 40 bids 3650 40 bids is gonna do it as I said it's a pop 321 I think that's almost the exact same population as Michael Jordan's Fleer 86 Fleer PSA 10 rookie so there we go. It's in good company. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Very nice example of a Sandy Koufax 55 tops rookie in an SGC five real top to bottom centering is really nice. Side to side is really nice. Color is good. I think the, the only issue I'm really seeing is that bottom left corner has a bit of a, of gl has a little gloss loss on the bottom left there. Everything else looks really nice. Slight rounding up there, a little bit of edge issue up there. Not a perfect top left corner, but it's a five. Really nice copy. Did you feel the same way? Yeah, I thought it was really nice. It has just a touch of a diamond print to it. But other than that, I mean, it's quite nice for a five. Really bold color, which I love on these. It just got a bid from 1375 to 1469 to 1655. 40 bids, $1,655 on the PS on the SGC5. Hey, kind of a PSA 5 now, I guess. Sandy Koufax. Look at this card, Michael. This is from 2022 Top Stadium Club. This is a jumbo MLB logo tag patch, numbered one of 10 on card auto. Gorgeous card. BGS 95. Michael, you go before I go. Go. Yeah, it, it's awesome. So Derek Jeter, obviously one of the best autos in the hobby. Then the patch is really cool. So it's not game worn. It's from some kind of exhibition event. Um, I, the consigner of the card explained it to us, but unfortunately not game worn, but still great patch. Looks really nice. Pops. Uh, you know, if you're looking for a really fun Jeter to add to the collection, I think this definitely checks the boxes. It is a beautiful card. That auto is great. We're at $1,209. We have five seconds to go here. 48 bids. Will we see bid 49? Maybe 50. 1,685 comes in right under the wire. We do get to 50 bids. And congratulations to the new owner of that beautiful specimen of a card. Next up, 2020 Panini Flawless Draft Gem Signatures. Kevin Durant, Seattle Supersonics. On card auto numbered out of 25. It's in a PSA 9 holder, and we're $494. Michael, 20 bids, 34 seconds left to go. How has Kevin Durant been doing hobby wise lately? You know, he's definitely started to even out. I think Durant is a guy who flew really high to the sun, crashed, but now it's evened out. Like he's still an all time great, he's still one of the defining players of his generation. So the values have stabilized. Um, these usually do right around $1,000. Uh, 
uh, but one hasn't sold in a few months. So we'll, we'll find out where his prices are at. We're about to find out. PSA 9, not bad. Final six seconds here. 20 bids, $494. Two seconds now. Will we see action? $494. That's going to do it. That is going to do it on the KD Draft Gem Signatures, PSA 9. Now, this is nice. I like this big patch. I like the full body shot of Kawhi Leonard. Nice auto. This is a 2012 Immaculate Rookie Jumbo Premium Patch Auto out of 75 BGS 8.5. Michael, I've seen my share of Kawhi uh, NT rookies. This puts that to shame, in my opinion, from an aesthetic perspective. I like this. I like the looks of this card a lot. We're at $1,400, 30 bids. What do you, how do you feel? Yeah, I, I love this card. And also these usually do about you know 80% of the vertical immaculate RPAs, which to me is crazy. The vertical has a smaller patch. This is way more gorgeous. Save your money, buy a better card here. I want to say hello to Blender Azami watching on Instagram. We have five seconds left, 1425 and Kawhi. There's a bid to 1452. Final second, 1452. That's going to do it. What a steal compared to what... Uh, if, if, if the regular NT goes for a lot more, in my opinion, here next, here we have next, everybody. This is a 2011 SP Authentic Home Court Signature Auto, LeBron James, St. Vincent, St. Mary. Cool looking card. I haven't seen this one before. Michael, tell us a bit about it. Yeah, so this is one of the products that, honestly, sometimes the fact that Upper Deck have lost their license is good because it really does make them push to try to make an attractive card. Um, to compel you to buy an unlicensed product. This is really nice. They did these for a couple of players who still signed for UD. There's a Jordan that's really nice that has the UNC home court. Really fun, great way to get a LeBron on card auto uh, at a little bit of a discount compared to his top stuff. So really fun piece here. $1,875, 24 bids, five seconds to go. Will there be action? Final opportunity, final call to get your bid in. Nobody steps up. This card sells for $1,875 on 24 bids. And we have a Diamond Dimensions, Charles Barkley from 1997 Upper Deck. This is numbered 79 out of 100, BGS 9.5, hand serially numbered 79 of 100. Very popular cards among the basketball collectors. I think, as I said last week, I'm these aren't my favorite cards design-wise, but people love them. So that's that's wonderful. What do you think? How How, how do you feel about these cards, Michael? I think they're really fun. I think the the fact that they are pretty low numbered does put them above kind of your average intricate die cut from the 90s. These don't sell often. This Barkley, the last one, sold in 2021 for 1500 So I expect we'll see some action here at the end. Well, there's 10 seconds to get that action in, guys. We have 15 bids so far. We're at $750. We have six seconds to go. There it just doubles to $1,324 and now 15 and a quarter on 19 bids, slides right in there, just under the wire. Triple V says, Tris Speaker is a PC guy for me. Also, Hornsby, Texas born. Professor, enjoyed the Saturday discussion on the Madden League. Good evening, Chuck Clement. Professor loves the Immaculate Patches. And Zach Swisher, we're back tonight for a regular MC Mondays, but we're not doing them every Monday. All right, guys. LeBron James, 2008 Upper Deck Radiance Auto Focus on Card Auto. This is a pretty card with the Almost looks, it's not acetate see-through, but what is this? Is this one of those acrylic cards? Yeah, it's like, it's a smoked acetate or acrylic. It kind of reminds me of the Fleer Millennium Men, where like it's partially transparent. Honestly, it's it's a really cool looking card, like kind of a throwaway product, but it's gorgeous in hand. Really distinct. Yeah, we, have, we have similar cards in hockey and trilogy. We're at $2,064, guys. Only four seconds left to go. Twenty-eight thirty-six now. Two thousand eight hundred and thirty-six dollars. All right. Next up, we have a 2022 Panini Contenders Optic 1985 Tribute Autograph of Steph Curry. This is a PSA 10. This is a I, what is up with this card? It's gorgeous. This is yeah. just beautiful on card auto. Wow, I've never seen this before. We're at $1,222, Michael. 20 seconds. Talk to us about this one. I love this. Great shot. Awesome design. Great on-card auto from Steph, as always. 
Like this is kind of an oddball insert into contenders, right? It's a throwback design, but it's one of the best cards you'll find in the product. It's amazing. Seven seconds left. 1,222, 26 bids. Final second. We'll, there's a bid to 1,300. We get one more bid. I, that might be one of my favorite Steph cards I've seen. I love the looks of this thing. Wow. 85 tribute autograph. Amazing looking card. All right, guys. Next up, 2019 Panini Kobe. This is a Kobe Bryant pack. You have to tell me what this is. Prism 101, Michael. $1,780. What is this card? Yeah, so these were inserted, I think, into a couple different products, but I know definitely Mosaic. And essentially, Panini were doing a big career retrospective for Kobe. There's a Kobe-specific set in Contenders that year, so you'll see those get posted a lot. And yeah, just great photos. This is iconic moments from Kobe's career. Black Prism 101 is obviously going to be your key chase card, along with the Gold Prism. Um, really gorgeous photos, really fun oddball set to collect. So no clue what it will do, but we'll find out. Well, there it goes to 1900 with three seconds to go. 54 bids, final second. 1900's gonna do it. 1900 takes home the Kobe one of one. Very nice card as well. Back to another Kevin Durant now, Michael. This is a 2022 select black prism, true one of one. It's a gem mint PSA 10. This is a Kevin Durant 101. There's a serial number right there. Beautiful scripted serial number. Michael, we are sitting at $504, 19 bids. How does he do with his net stuff? I don't think that's uh, kind of the team that he's best known for, is he? Not the best. It definitely sells at a discount compared to anything in, in the Thunder uniform or the Warriors uniform. But there are people who still go for it, especially on the rarer cards, right? If you have a gold Kaboom in a Nets uniform, people are going to go for it. If you have a Black Prism 101, people will still put up the money for it. But this is one that, you know, might really kind of stall out around the thousand mark well we have three seconds to move off of it there's five and a quarter will we get it? six and a quarter gets in just under the wire 625 on this one of one kevin durant and here we have a De'Aaron fox 2022 prism choice nebula also a true one of one nice looking card this guy hey michael look at that i love the purples and the pinks and the black and the blue very nice 1301 dollars on 25 bids 35 seconds to go michael how's De'Aaron fox doing this season pretty solid i mean i think the kings listen they had that incredible run that's going to be kind of tough to top the the energy of but they've proven that they're actually in the process of rebuilding to being a serious team um, so I think they'll continue to be pretty good. And, and that kind of energy just makes people fans of players. And that's definitely what's happened with Fox. People love collecting this guy. Right on. Well, we're down to seven seconds, still at $1,301, 25 bids. We're now at $1,525 with one second to go. $1,900, $13 gets in there just under the wire, everybody. That is action. 1913 on De'Aaron Fox, one of one. All right, here's here's a guy who's kind of running away with things this season. Shea Gilgis Alexander. This is a 2018 Contenders rookie finals ticket auto number two of 49, a PSA eight. We're at $1,375 on 64 bids. We have 30 seconds to go. Michael, I, every time we do the show, I always mention how I like these ticket cards. How about you? What do you think of this piece? I love these. I think they're really fun. They look really nice when they do the fuller hollows like this year. It really pops and you get really big full autos in those oversized signature windows. So really cool piece. This is already doing decently over the last sale. So pretty pleased. Well, 1375 with four seconds left. Will we see one more bid? Is somebody going to come in and take this home? 1375, Mr. 64th bidder is going to, or Mrs. is going to take it home on that 64th bid. 1300. $75 next up 1997 precious metal gems red Dell Curry so this guy may be best known for being Steph's father this is numbered 18 of 100 it is in an authentic altered PSA holder we're sitting at $711 and this thing you know the edges are pretty pretty chipped up as you can see but you know you're going to notice that on these PMGs now Altered, do we know why, Michael? Um, no, but my assumption with any altered PMG is usually that somebody 
added some color to touch it up. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's definitely beat, but it's a PMG. And if you're building the set, like these are the kinds of cards that you have to be okay with adding. And it's Del Curry, so it's not one of the main cards in the set, but we're down to three seconds, $711, 22 bids. Looks like that's going to do it. It's going to top out at $711 on that Del Curry. Mr. Mr. Curry, we should call him. Mr. Curry, since, uh, you know, his, his son is still playing. All right, guys. James Wood, 2022 Bowman Chrome Prospect Atomic Refractor. I get excited because I love Atomic Refractors. This is numbered 15 of 100 on card auto. Beautiful autograph. Laid down beautifully as they always do on these cards. Great design motif on these Atomic Refractors. Michael, we're at $1,100. Tell us a bit about James Wood. Probably one of the most hyped prospects in the national system. Uh, he was really the centerpiece of the trade that they got when they sent Soto to the Padres. Should be in the bigs this year. Um, hitting really well in spring training. So. Really cool card. A PSA 9 did 600, so 2x is about where you want to see. A little bit more at the end, maybe. Well, let's see. Final two seconds, 1,100. Will there be another bid? Bid number 36 for 1,100 takes home the James Wood. Next up, Ricardo Cabrera. We've had our share of Cabreras come through the major, major leagues, right? This is the 2022 Bowman Chrome Prospect Orange Refractor Auto, number 9 of 25. Gorgeous card. Again, the autographs just pop on these tops cards. Nice serial number stamp right there. PSA 10, Gem Mint, $910, 30 seconds left. What can you tell us about Ricardo? You know, one of those international signings that you never really know how those guys are going to pan out, but the Reds have done a very good job of developing hitters over the last few years, and he shows everything that you want to see, a decent amount of pop, good mechanics. Um an orange shimmer just did 550 or 600 like two or three days ago. It's the same story. 2X from the shimmer to the true feels about right. 995 with 1,030 now with a second to go. 1,326 just gets in on bid number 55. Ricardo Cabrera bringing some action to Monday nights here on MC Mondays Live. That brings us to Colt Emerson, 2023 Bowman Chrome Draft Prospect. Blue Refractor, on card auto, numbered out of 150, PSA 10, color match, Michael. Nice auto, as always. Nice looking card. Nice looking card. Tell us about Colt Emerson. It's that time of year. Yeah, just got drafted, obviously. He's in 2023 draft. And uh, really, his stock shot up during spring training. Really impressed a lot of guys. He's not making the bigs this year, um, as far as I know, unless there's some sort of last-second announcement. But everything looks good for a pretty fast rise through the minors. So a lot of people are really excited about him. This is kind of the first wave that he's got. So we'll see. Five seconds to go. We're at $1,025, 26 bids, two seconds now. 1,050 comes through. One more bid, a little chipping away at it. And that's going to do it. And I want to welcome everybody who's watching on X, you, you know, formerly Twitter, about 25 people watching on there right now. Welcome you guys to the show and that brings us to max clark 23 bowman chrome draft gold shimmer refractor auto 47 of 50 this guy's got a big auto too i like it it covers a lot of the card there check that out nicely laid down psa 9 on the gold shimmer refractor tell us about max clark one of the most exciting prospects in baseball he's had a massive social media following since he was like a sophomore in high school playing on the national team Basically, the hopeful savior of the Detroit Tigers. Uh, last sale of this raw was 1200 so hopefully we get to like 1300 a little over that premium. We're at 988 with six seconds to go, 21 bids. Will there be another bid? Final opportunity, guys. Final call, $988 is going to do it on the Max Clark here tonight. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were talking about this on Saturday. <laughs> You're nodding as if. I love this card. Mark McGuire, 1998 Essential Credentials from Skybox EX 2001. This is the future version. It is numbered out of 90. Technology card. We're dealing with, with die cut cardboard, foil cardboard on acetate, colored acetate. Beautiful. It's a PSA 7, $934 right now, Michael. You like this card as much as I do or what? I love these. We're so fortunate to 
get a pretty consistent stream of credentials because they are always so much fun. Just the technology and the skill that it took to make these is amazing 20 years later. $945, nine seconds to go, 22 bids, final call, snipers on alert, $1,113 now with a sec, $1,295 gets in there right under the wire, bid number 28. Congratulations on the Mark McGuire essential credentials. Love that card. That brings us to a Michael Jordan on-card auto from 2011, Upper Deck Exquisite. This is the Exquisite endorsements auto numbered 50 of 50 that's a bookend auto everybody the autograph is wonderful absolutely perfect card is not graded that is fine we're at 2395 dollars with 24 bids and 25 seconds left to go here michael jordan in a north carolina uniform does all right compared to a lot of other players in college what do you think of this piece yeah i think it's really nice i mean first off listen he's a great player from a great college so that does help but this is also the best way to get a Jordan Auto into the collection without breaking the bank. These usually do between two to 2,500, like being at the upper end here. We're now at 2,570 with three seconds to go. 26 bids, 2,570. That's going to do it. That's a really nice Jordan Auto for $2,570. All right, another Shea Gilgis Alexander. 2018 Prism Choice Green Rookie Auto numbered one of eight in an SGC seven holder. I mean, not, you know, not a color match, but green and blue complement each other quite nicely. Beautiful card. I love, I love the scope pattern going on there. Michael, what do you think of this piece? We're at $1,950 on 60 bids. Yeah, I think it's really fun. Honestly, I always really love the choice prisms. They look really fun. Harkens back to the PMG championship. And when it comes to chasing low numbered cards, I mean, outside of one of ones, this is usually about as low as it gets in Prism. So, really cool piece. I expect we'll see two or three bids come in here, try to be a little cheeky and snipe it at the end. 1950 gets bid up to 2005. Three seconds to go. Final call $2,156. Takes home the Shea Gilgis Alexander. And now we have an Aaron Judge, 2013 Bowman Chrome prospect refractor auto sgc9 the autograph grades out a 10 looks beautiful nice shiny card really 1275 dollars 24 bids we got about 35 seconds left michael aaron judge i mean he's still doing it isn't he yeah he is the, the health concerns are definitely starting to add up a little bit but it's looking like it'll be a big year for the yankees they did the right moves still need one last pitcher a PSA 9 of this just sold for, I think, $1,700 a couple days ago. So you figure we're going to get to maybe like $1,400 here. And we're now at $1,351. We have 12 seconds to go. We have 25 bids. Let's see what happens here, everybody. Snipers, get on alert. You might need to throw a bid in here. And one of them does to $1,400. Now $1,425. Final second, $1,450 gets in there. $1,450. Lots of bids in action coming in in the final moments of the Aaron Judge auction zach swisher says that was a good sale for a jordan college uni card very nice thank you for that zach francisco alvarez 2020 bowman chrome orange refractor auto number 10 of 25 auto is beautiful serial number is beautiful card is beautiful bgs 9.5 corners being the only thing that's a nine autograph grades out of 10 as i mentioned michael 2001 dollars 29 bids 27 seconds go uh, honestly, feels a little cheap. Um, the last one of these did 2200 but Alvarez is a super high upside player. Good defense and good offense for a catcher. Very young, already handling situations like a pro, and the Mets are poised for the future. So I, I love this. $2,001, seven seconds left, 29 bids, final opportunity. Snipers are on alert, and I know they are. There we go. One little bid gets it up to $2,026. Next up is, oh, wow, look at this cut auto, Michael. 2018 Tops 5-star cut signature auto, 101 of Jimmy Fox. We're at $1,325. He's got a beautiful rookie card from the 33 Gaudi set. 51 bids here, 37 seconds. Michael, does this card come from that same consigner of yours that had all the cut autos? Yeah, I actually don't know. I didn't check the sheet. I wouldn't be surprised. This is kind of his era. This is kind of his thing. 
Uh, the only thing is he would probably slide to BGS Authentic at 7 to 9. But gorgeous card. The hollow foil on five-star cuts is amazing. Looks gorgeous in person. And Jimmy really didn't sign a whole lot. So he is one of the harder cuts to get. All right. Well, 1325, 1358 now on the harder cut to get. Three seconds left. Let's see if there's then. There's a bid to $1,713. That's going to take it home on bid number 56. Congratulations. 17, oh, 1763 on 57 bids takes it home. We had further action. All right. We have a 1998 Flair Showcase Row 2 Masterpiece, one of one. Andy Pettit talked about this a bit on Saturday night, Michael, because I, Andy Pettit doesn't get the love I think that he should. He's an all-time, he's really an all-time great pit. He's maybe a notch below all-time great, but he was a great pitcher, had a long career. BGS 9.5 as well with, with two tens on centering and corner, surface of nine, edges 9.5. Michael, your thoughts? Really cool piece. Uh, you know, you talk about a guy who's around during one of the glory eras of uh, Yankees baseball. Of course, people love him. Beautiful card, one-on-one masterpiece. Like, you got to love this. Zach Swisher says the set is all time. Three seconds. We're at 11-11. 1,324 gets in there just under the wire. 1,324 on the Pettit. One of one. Awesome card. Congratulations to the new owner, Julio Rodriguez, 2019 Bowman Chrome Prospect, Blue Refractor Auto out of 150. It's in a BGS 9.5 holder with a 10 auto. It is a gem mint plus. It's a true gem plus. Surface. Surface, everybody, coming in at 10. Awesome auto. Color match. I'm taking all the words out of Michael's mouth. We're at $3,525 on 42 bids. Michael, talk to us about Julio. Man, I, I love J-Rod. Um, everything you want in a face of the game, everything you want in a superstar, and everything you want in a card. I mean, you said it. Color match, good auto, high grade, everything you could ask for. The last sale was a PSA 10 at 4250 I think we get to like 3700 3700 He says we're at 35 and a quarter. Let's see what happens in the final three seconds. Will we see another bid? 3525 on bid 42. No further bids. 3,525 on the J-Rod. All right. Randy Moss. This is another Essential Credentials. This is from 1999 EX Century. It's the now version. It's numbered 8 of 50. It's a BGS 9.5. Strong grade for an Essential Credentials. I think these are gorgeous. I have a few cards from this year. Baseball. No, I actually have a couple of the futures. I have the, uh, what do I have? I have, I, have Bear, I have Jerry Rice. Awesome, awesome. Anyway, I love these cards, guys. I love the shadow coming off the name. Look at the shadow coming off the name. There's no, this is not 3D. That's just an amazing design element. $2,850, Michael. Your thoughts? I mean, one of these cards hasn't sold in like several years. So definitely really tough to call where it's going to go. But that's the kind of card that people get excited for and they shove the chips in. Let's see if we're going to have any more chip. Oh, and there it goes to $3,550. One second to go. $3,000. 550 on bid number 57 takes home the Randy Moss essential credentials. That is very cool. Vintage says Michael's predictions are very accurate. I am impressed. And Triple V loved the Fox Auto. Thank you guys for being here. And now we have a 24 karat gold clear brilliance Curtis Martin BGS 8.5 from 1998. And this is number three of 24. Michael. These brilliants are awesome. Talk about them, please. Yeah, I mean, they really are one of the most stunning in person. Uh, you talk about a card where seeing a picture, seeing a video of it doesn't do it justice, and the 24 carats are really where it's at. These things have a brilliant, brilliant shine. They're awesome. They don't trade hands super often. This is only sold publicly like a couple times over the past few years. So definitely an exciting card to get your hands on to complete a set. Okay, we're at 850 bucks with three seconds to go. 38 bids. Will there be a snipe? There is one to 960 bucks. That gets in there. 960 on the Curtis Martin 24 karat gold Fleer Brilliance. And that is a brilliant card. All right. Another Essential Credentials. 2006 Kobe Bryant Essential Credentials Future. Numbered 64 of 64. The bookend card. I think that's really cool. And th these cards are just, they're just awesome. You got die cut. Foil cardboard over nice colored acetate. 
with the foil name, the EX logo. Michael, this card's gorgeous. $1,025 with 25 seconds left and 43 bids. Your turn. Yeah, uh, absolutely beautiful. I think this might be the last year of credentials, but the only problem with comping this card is the only sales have been BGS 9.5s and the three PSA 10s keep changing hands. So I don't know where it's going to go. Maybe like 22, 2,500 bucks. Okay, so we're expecting more bids here, guys. There's a bid to 1584. Two seconds left. Final call. 40 for there's one more bid to $1,734 on bid number 46 on the Kobe BGS 85 Essential Credentials Future. All right, we have a dual Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Noir split screen, first off the line, gold framed. Numbered four of nine. These are actually framed in metal as if it's an actual picture frame. Really cool cards. BGS nine. Michael, we are at $455. We have 32 bids, 26 seconds to go. Do you have any further expectations on this card? It's only at a nine. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's lovely. Noir is a brand that does not get nearly enough appreciation for how consistently beautiful those cards are within a really clear aesthetic um low numbered lebron and kobe like it's just one of those cards that you go we'll toss it in we'll see where it goes it's got to go a little higher well from 465 to 75 to 860 now with one 920 bucks 920 dollars on 39 bids takes home the kobe lebron split screen and now a kobe solo card this is a 2012 flawless inscriptions on card auto Numbered 23 of 25. There's the autograph right there. Nice, serious picture. Mamba mentality picture of him right there. There's the autograph. Seems to be fading a little bit to me. 40 bids. We're at $3,050. Michael, your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, gorgeous. So this is first year flawless. So definitely one of those sets that's big in terms of the history of the hobby. Really beautiful design. Good auto from Kobe. I Checks all the marks. I think this is a touch low. I think we could go maybe one or two bits higher here, but in a reasonable place, right? I mean, there are a lot of Kobe on card autos. So you're paying for the first year flawless. $3,050 with three seconds to go. Will we see another bid come through? We have 40 so far. Looks like that's going to do it. $3,050 on the Kobe auto loud collector says that the jets fan the gourd the curtis martin was a gorgeous card and, and zach says to, to you michael noir is criminally underrated i think uh, that's something that, that's one of your catchphrases right there right criminally underrated i think you say that sometimes all right hulk hogan wrestling all-stars sgc7 this is known as his rookie card we're at two thousand and five dollars 16 bids 28 seconds to go michael do you guys see this card come through the shop often? No. I mean, honestly, I think I've only seen this card come through like two or three times total since I've been working here. It, it's rare. And people hold on to this for a long time, right? Wrestling collectors are diehard. They're very passionate. And when they get this, it's locked up. It's locked up. Seven seconds, $2,005. It's an SGC7. 16 bids. Final call. This is it. Looks like that's going to do it. $2,005. On the Hulk Hogan Wrestling All-Stars in the SGC7 Tuxedo Holder. And that brings us to our first Mbappe of the night. 2018 Kaboom Rookie Mbappe. PSA 8. SSP. The card, it looks like he is jumping off the card. Michael, what do you think of this piece? This is this is honestly across all sports. This is one of my favorite Kaboom designs. I don't know if it's just because it was so hot and it was so fun to watch this card go meteoric, but I love the design. It's really fun. It's gorgeous in the light. And it's just such a fun, dynamic photo. Um, this is a touch low. Like you'd expect maybe $1,200 on this uh, is where we'd want to be. Um, but, you know, still some questions about whether or not the Real Madrid deal is done for him. So we'll see where it goes. We just got there. We're at 1225. Now we're at 1439. Two seconds left. $1,000. $1,914 comes in right under the wire. Look at that, everybody. And as, as Reginaldo says, it's more entertaining watching Michael's expressions based on how high the bids are for more happiness and commission. Very, very nice. All right. Next up, we have a Trevor Lawrence 2021 Immaculate Rookie Nameplate Nobility Patch Auto numbered out of six. It's a PSA 9 mint condition card. There it is. 
autograph right on the patch. Serial number two of eight right there on the bottom left. Nice looking card. Michael, how do you like these? Now, first of all, is this a this is a game use patch? This is not a manufactured patch, is it? No, I believe no. that this is a player worn patch, but I love it. It harkens back to those Letterman, the buy the letter sets from the mid 2000s. It's a really yeah. fun aesthetic. It looks really great in a display case. So I think it's cool. $1,825 now, three seconds to go. Final opportunity, everybody. $1,825 on bid number 36. Takes it home. 18 and a quarter on the T Law. All right. Now we're getting a vintage a baseball card. Back to some vintage. 54 tops, Ernie Banks rookie in a PSA four holder. Yeah, it looks looks every bit of a four to me. No real issues or comments. You know, it's a bit high on the centering, but that's what you expect. Overall, good image. What do you think of this piece, Michael, when you held it in hand? Uh, I love this. I'm a Cubs guy, so obviously this is like the big vintage card for anyone who's a Cubs fan and collector. Um, it's beautiful. It's iconic. It's a great photo. It shows how young he is. Like guys used to get the majors at such a young age. And this card really shows that, um, the last sale was around $1,500. It had razor sharp corners. So I don't know if we'll get there. Um, just because this does have some softer corners. Well, we'll let's see how far we get. We're at a thousand and eight with four seconds to go. Snipers on alert here. Take this home. Oh, thousand and eight for a PSA four Ernie Banks. Rookie card, congrats to the new owner. Talking about vintage, 1934, Worldwide Gum, Charlie Geringer, PSA 7, Pop 2, only one higher. That's that's a big deal, only one higher here, Michael. We're at $825, 27 bids, 33 seconds left. What do you think about this card? This is really cool because we talked about it a little bit in the last showcase, but anything 34 Worldwide Gum is already very low pop. It's a very hard set to get. And this is one of your key Hall of Famers. The last time a PSA 7 sold was 2015 for 230 bucks. So, I mean, you're talking about somebody who's been waiting nine years to pick this card up or, you know, the higher PSA 8. Someone's going to shove on this. Someone's going to shove three seconds. There's a shove to 985 anymore. 900, 1,005 gets in there under the wire. 32 bids. Very nice card. Amazing card, actually. Amazing. One of my favorite Jackies, 1950 Bowman, Jackie Robinson in an SGC3 holder. We're at $1,935 right now on 34 bids. 40 seconds left. Great image of Jackie. Kind of just taking warm up in the batter's box kind of thing right there. Now this is a this is a 3. It looks like a 3 to me, but you know, sent it has a bit of tilt going on I think, but overall a really nice copy for a 3. What did you think? Yeah, like you said, I think this is smack dab in the middle for what you want a 3 to be. It has some room to be better. It's better than a 2 or a 1. It's a great candidate for somebody who's slowly working their way up the grades. I think this is you look at it as a 3 and you go, I'm glad I got my 3. $1,935, four seconds to go, 34 bids, three seconds now, two seconds, and there's a bid to $2,024. That's going to take it home, $2,024. Everybody, next up, Fernando Tatis Jr., 2023, Tops Chrome, Gilded Gold Super Fractor Auto, one of one. It's an SGC 10 with a 10 auto as well. Michael, $901. Seems really low to me for a card like this. Just going off my gut, I don't follow this card. Is it low or is this where, what about we're expecting right now? It's about where you'd expect it. I think it ends around like $1,300, $1,400. But Tatis's market really got hurt with the steroids. Um, some people just don't want to deal with them anymore. His super fractor autos generally do like $800 to $1,100. Bucks, but Gilded Collection is a really great product that people love. So I think we'll see a bit of a premium. Beautiful. We're at 1,001 now with 1,026 now. Three seconds, $1,575 comes in. And 17 and a quarter gets in there right under the wire. Bid number 40, 17, 25 on the Tatis 101. Beautiful card. And this is maybe my favorite in the auction. Dual scripted sticks numbered out of five of the two best players, really, from 1980 forward. Even through till today, you could say $1,613 for the Wayne Gretzky 
Mario Lemieux, 2019 The Cup Dual Scripted Sticks. And this is a nice scripted sticks because you're getting the exterior of the stick on both. Upper Deck's been using the inner part of the stick. Like they're cutting it up and slicing it into, and you're getting the pulp showing. No pulp here, you guys. This is the surface. This is an absolutely stunning card. Numbered out of five. Cheap to me right now at $1,614. I wouldn't be surprised to see this go up by another 900 or so. There it goes to 1881. Three seconds left. Final call. Any more action? $1,931 takes home that beauty. And I think that's a great deal for whoever bought it. Yes, Zach, I do own some scripted sticks in my collection. Thank you for asking. Where's the energy, says Skeppy. Skeppy, turn down the volume where you are and you will hear the energy. Here's another cup auto, Wayne Gretzky. This is the stick and move. This The first time this, this is a, was a new subset or insert set in 2020. Nice looking card. Look at that paint pen. Look how wonderful that autograph is. This card is numbered out of five. A nice piece of game use stick as well. Wayne Gretzky, only five copies made. First stick and move year ever. BGS9, Michael, 1051. You like this card? I love this. The one thing about the previous card, they signed over the stick so you couldn't see that logo, that detail with this. Get a great auto and you get to see the stick. Exactly. There's a bit to 1247, three seconds, 1439 now, one second to go, 1,400, 1,528 gets in there just under the wire. Love that card. I really do love that card. The gold foil and everything. And Webo2 says, just like orange juice, I like my scripted sticks pulp free. You know what I'm talking about, Bill. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Next item is, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're three in a row. I love here. Michael, talk about this, please. Yeah. So this is the second year of UD game Jersey. So kind of the follow up to the original uh, game worn Jersey insert set. These cards are extremely popular for good reason. I mean, this is a piece of cardboard history, really. Um, in my opinion, I prefer if you're going to have the one color because almost all of them are one color. I'd rather have the red than the white. A BGS 8.5 just did 6,500. I think we do about about the same here. Well, we're at 6,022. We have two seconds to see a bid. Will it come in? Doesn't look like it. 6,022. And as Zach says, this was Adam Gray's number one card in the auction tonight. Adam Gray. That guy knows his basketball cards. That's why That's why he's the editor-in-chief of the Basketball Card Fanatic magazine. But Cade Cunningham is not the editor-in-chief of that magazine. Adam Gray is. Cade Cunningham is on this 2021 Prism Green Shimmer card in the PSA 10 holder. Number two of five, pop one, Cade Cunningham. Tell us about Cade. You know, Cade's a, a great player who's stuck on a really bad team. And that's kind of a, a curse in the hobby because at the end of the day, as, as much as you can put up great individual performances, if you're not winning, you're not making playoff runs, the excitement starts to die down. The last sale of this was, I think, $2,300. I, I think we about match that because there's still some time for him to get on a better team or the Pistons to get better. 2100 looks like that. 2175 2250. You almost nailed it, Michael. Well done. 2250 on the Cade Cunningham Green Shimmer. Two of five. Very nice card. Look at this. 1996 Fleer Lucky 13. Insert Kobe Bryant. PSA 10. Nice looking card. Michael, we're at $1,026. 37 bids. 34 seconds left. Talk about this. I'm going to go check out the population. Just a fun Kobe rookie. I mean, back when they really tried some wild and weird things with card design. And now the big thing here is PSA 10. Obviously, guys love collecting PSA 10 Kobe rookies, even the base cards. And this is one where it's going to be a little harder to get to 10 because that full colored sign front and back. Yeah. So hey, even a base card can be a thousand dollar card. Well, we have eight seconds left. It's a pop 152 and PSA 10. There's a bid to 1136. Three seconds left. 38 bids. 1136 is going to take it home. Takes it home. Zach says, good analysis, Michael. Hype still prevails with Cade Cunningham. All right, guys. We are on a roll. We are on a roll, and we are rolling right up to this. 96, Fleer, Michael Jordan, rookie card. 
SGC authentic altered evidence of trimming, Michael. And we are at $2,058 on this Michael Jordan. What do you think of that? A trimmed card at 2058 bucks. You know, who else but a Jordan rookie, right? Maybe a Babe Ruth rookie, right? Gowdy Ruth. Um, these do between like 1500 and 2000, you know, at the end of the day, some people decide, I know what I'm getting into. I know the card's mm -hmm. been altered. I'm okay with it. And I want to save some money to spend it elsewhere in the PC. And I think that that's a great thing that SGC do by making it so evident. So yeah. love it. I wonder if that's something that PSA will take from SGC and start to do. That'd be great. And this card is going to sell for $2,058. All right, guys, we are cruising. Shea Gilgis Alexander, 2018, Opulence Rookie Patch Auto, 41 of 79, on card auto right there. Interesting patch right there, Michael. Tell us about this card. Yeah, really fun. You know, Opulence had like a, a brief moment in the sun. Everybody was so excited about it. And then it feels like it's definitely petered out a little bit. But there's some great cards in there. And I think really what it comes down to is whether or not the card and we talked about this with the Luca Nouveau Riche. The great thing about Opulence is that beautiful gold foil and that gorgeous, high-quality, stark white base that they print on. And if the card has a good balance of those two, it really works, and the two elements work together. Then you throw in, it's a really cool patch here, so that yes. helps. $1,888, five seconds left. That's 48 bids so far. Final two seconds, 1888 still. 1888 dollars is where we're going to end up on this Shea Gilgis Alexander. Caitlin Clark makes her first appearance of the evening. 2022 Bowman Chrome University Gold Refractor Auto out of 50. SGC 9, the auto is a 10. Michael, this is number 29 of 50. We have $2,300 bid so far, 58 bids, 34 seconds left. This is a big card right now for Caitlin, isn't it? Huge card. I think she's playing a game literally right now also. Yeah. Um, so hopefully she wins that for the uh, seller of this card. Yeah, really great. Um, these are doing around like 2K, I think, for PSA 9s and a 10 sold for 3K. So this is about right for an SGC 9. A lot of excitement around her. Hopefully the excitement continues when she hits the WNBA. I just you love seeing talents like that perform at a high level. Oh, yes. We're still at 58 bids, $2,300. Two seconds left. Will we see a final bid come through? Doesn't look like it. 2300 is going to buy the Caitlin Clark tonight. Next up. Next up is, oh, look at this. This is a beautiful card. 2017 Panini Dominion Main Exhibit Legends Auto Bronze. 20 of 25 copies produced. Look at the dual image of Kobe right there. Beautiful looking card, Michael. The autograph is awesome. I mean, he has a big auto, but that's what a gorgeous card. It's a it's a BGS seven and a half. It looks like right there. Auto's a ten. Surface being the weakness is six point five. Michael, we're at eleven sixty one. Tell us about this. Do you think we're going to get higher? And how nice is this card? Uh, I hope we go a little bit higher. I think some people won't be able to look past the seven point five, honestly. But I love this. Dominion is another one of those brands that was really nice. I wish Panini had kept around because it's it's gorgeous and there were some great design concepts there, but. So it goes. Five seconds left. $1,215. 29 bids. Final call. Final opportunity. 1215 is going to take it home. Nice looking card. Really nice card. Look at this. This card kind of, as soon as I saw it, whoa, Luca, right in your face here, Luca. Like, talk about posing for the camera. 2018 Panini Certified Rookie Certified Potential. Luca Doncic, BGS 9. Auto is a 10. Edges are 10. Centering and corners, 9.5. Surfaces, an 8. Decent Luca Auto. I actually like the looks of this card. What do you think of this? And, and is it nicer with, under the light? Yeah, it, def it definitely looks a little bit better in person. One of those cards that just didn't scan super great. But you know, these usually do right around $1,000. It's a great way to get a Luca Rookie Auto into the collection. I think we'll basically hit that. He's been having a good season. Um, so, yeah, it, nice card. I do wish the auto was a little cleaner, though. Yeah, fair enough. We're five seconds left, 751 in dollars, 32 bids, still 761. And that is going to, no, 899 just gets in there. I had a feeling something was coming there. $899 on the Luca certified potential auto. All right, Vince Carter, gotta love Air Canada here. 2005 upper deck limited logos from Exquisite. 
Vince Carter. Beautiful four-color patch. Very nice autograph. Michael, we're $1,831. You guys deal in a lot of this exquisite stuff. MC, you guys deal in nice high-end cards a lot of the time, especially on Mondays. Tell us about this, and have you seen any others that you can recall? Uh, I love this. You know, this is the year that, in my opinion, Limited Logos really starts coming into its own. This and, like, 0405 Limited Logos are kind of my favorite. Um, really clean four-color patch here. Very nice auto. To get a 9.5 on this is huge. They usually grade out as eights. People are paying up for this. This is a very strong number already. $2,304. We just had a bid come in. Will there be another? Doesn't seem like it. 2304 takes home the Vince Limited Logos. Another Limited Logos. 05 Exquisite. Chris Paul. This is just a stunning card. You got to love. You got to love like the aquamarine color, the teal, whatever you want to call it. Four color patch with angles and stitching. Beautiful card out of 50. BGS 9.5. Michael, the auto is wonderful as well. This is a great card, isn't it? Yeah, I, I love it. I mean, you talk about the fact that you have a rookie patch auto that's this high quality. Like, it's awesome. Um, like you said, four color patch is really nice. Very clean auto. And the last time a 9.5 of this sold was in 2020. So it's been a couple of years since a 9.5 has hit the market. So I think somebody might try to put in a nice bid here at the end. But this is already quite hot. $3,146, 31 bids, five seconds to go. $3,196, $3,196. Final call, $3,196. Buys the Chris Paul limited logos from 05 Exquisite. That brings us to a 2013 Panini Signatures franchise graphs of Giannis and Tedekumpo, numbered 82 of 149. It's a BGS 9.5 with a 10 auto. We're at $1,425 on 45 bids, everybody. We have 34 seconds for Michael to talk about this piece. I really like it. It's kind of an off-brand card, right? It's not something that you necessarily think of when you go, oh, what's an iconic Giannis rookie auto? But it looks really nice. It's a very nice design. It's very clean on-card auto. Uh, a couple of these popped up last year, and then none have really hit the market since uh, like June. So it's been a little while. I'd expect this to get closer to 2K, honestly, but we'll see where it goes. All right. Well, here we go. Five seconds left. We're at $1,425. Three seconds now. Final call. 1500 just gets in under the wire. Bid number 47. 1575. Bid number 48 also gets through congratulations and again i want to welcome we got 30 people watching us on x slash twitter right now welcome to all of you guys out there in the twitter verse or the x verse as i suppose they're calling it now michael here's a connor mcdavid this is a upper deck trilogy triptychs auto out of 60 bgs 8.5 this is a, and it's also a rookie year card guys a rookie year connor mcdavid auto beautiful autograph on these triptychs we have 20 seconds left we're at 880 dollars 26 bids michael what do you think of this card i think it's really cool the, the die cut shape is a little odd and it's like a little funky to me um but the auto is really clean i love the silver ink against that black background pops it sure does pop four seconds left 995 dollars 1031 now 28 bids 1031 takes home the Connor McDavid rookie year auto. All right, 2016 gold prism buddy healed numbered six of 10. It's a pop two. We're at $141. I, I got to admit, I, I'm not familiar with buddy healed. What can you tell us about this guy? Uh, fairly popular players, kind of. I think he's on the Kings right now, he was on the Kings for a while. Um, but this is one of those cards that at PSA 10. Gold Prism hasn't surfaced in, I think, seven years. So it was one where we just said, all right, you know, this is either going to do like $1,500 or $200. And we're going to find out, right? We're going to, oh, thank you, 76ers. And we're going to find out. So this was just throw it in and see what happens. And maybe there are fireworks at the end. Maybe it fizzles, but we're along for the ride. Well, let's see what happens. $141 with five seconds left for this Prism Gold Buddy Healed. One forty two hundred and twenty nine dollars gets in there. And it's going to sell for two hundred and twenty nine dollars. Someone picks them up a nice prism gold out of ten from twenty sixteen. That brings us to the Lionel Messi twenty nineteen tops chrome UCL red refractor auto. Only ten copies produced. We're at thirty three hundred dollars. 
87 bids. That is Sidney Crosby's jersey number. 36 seconds left to go in this auction. Michael, tell us about the Messi. This is actually a pretty nice result. Uh, a PSA 9 from the latest Topps Chrome uh, soccer set did 3,500 a few months ago uh, when Messi's market was a little bit hotter with that initial coming over to the U.S. pump. Um, really nice card. Yeah, kind of matches the Barcelona colors, right? The secondary color match. Um, really clean auto from him. It is a sticker auto, but he doesn't have a ton of on-card autos, so you take what you get. Five seconds left, $3,400, 89 bids, 3920 bucks. Now $4,000 on 91 bids gets in there right under the wire. $4,050 on the messy. Congratulations to everybody involved in that one. Look at this. Look at this. Prism Breakaway Gold Auto, one of two copies, Pele. Pele. You can basically interchange the word Pele with the word soccer. 1900 bucks, 34 bids, 35 seconds left to go, Michael. Gorgeous card, color match to the moon. This is really nice. Yeah, no, it's it's awesome. It looks beautiful. You know, uh, Warhol said that most people have 15 minutes of fame, but Pele would have 15 decades of fame. And, I mean, it sticks, right? The man is synonymous with soccer. If you have any soccer legend in your collection, it's got to be Pele. And the gold breakaway is really fun, and it's numbered out of two. So I just love this card. It looks awesome. It does. 2025 now, 2425 now, 4250 dollars. 4400 guys. That card doubled in the last three seconds, and I'm not surprised. 4400 for the Pele Gold Breakaway out of two. Congratulations! Amazing looking card. Really like that one. All right, we can't slow down though. Shohei Otani. 2018 pitching rookie gold from tops. It's numbered out of 2018. It's a PSA 10. Nice looking card here of Shohei Michael. We're at $1,825. 28 seconds left. Do you expect some of this gambling con translator controversy to impact his card values? What do you uh, think? I think that there will be some people who are sitting it out, but I think on the flip side, there are a lot of people who love Otani who are going to be excited to maybe get a deal. This is already doing like 20% over the last comp. So I'm pretty satisfied with this. Well, here we go. Five more seconds left. 49 bids, $1,825. Final opportunity, 2024. Gets in there on bid number 50. All right. We are not slowing down because here is another Shohei 2023 Pops Five Star Autographed Jumbo Jersey Relic Patch Auto. Number eight to 25. Auto is perfect. Patch is amazing. It's a nice show. Hey, Michael, what do you think of this piece? I, I love it. Um, it's the L from Angels. It's really cool. I wish they didn't rotate the patch, but it is what it is. This year's five-star design is so fun. Like the way that they actually integrate the stars in the patch window. Really cool. Great foil. Very clean auto from Shohei. Um, I love this card. I, I think this comes closer to 2000, but like we said, with high-end Shohei right now, there might be some bidders who are sitting it out. $1,613, 26 bids, seven seconds to go. There's a bid to $1,975 with two seconds left. $1,975, looks like that's going to take it home tonight. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of cardboard right there. Here's a really cool card, you guys. Dual on-card autographs of Wayne Gretzky and Connor McDavid. Really like go to yesterday, go to today. This is from 2017 Upper Deck Premier. It's numbered out of 20. They're both in their Euler uniforms. They're both wearing the Captain C on the on the chest. We're at $2,850. Michael, I mean, you know, you know how I feel about these guys. What do you think of a card like this? And how do you like booklets? I actually, I think that booklets from like a dealing perspective, they're rough, they're harder to move, but from a collect perspective. If it's designed right, it can be an awesome display piece that's really great in your PC. Um, I love this. Two of the greats, great autos from both. Can't go wrong. $2,940. Now we're up to $3,050 with three seconds left. We're at 48 bids. Final opportunity. Looks like nobody capitalizes on that final opportunity, but bidder number 48 takes home this card for $3,050. Congratulations. Great piece. We have a Kawhi Leonard. Panini Prism, Prism, like Silver Prism, rookie card, PSA 10, 
from 2012. First year Prism, perhaps the most important rookie card from that year. I but maybe him, maybe is Anthony Davis in there as well. There's a couple others, but this is a big card from that year, Michael. Two, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is huge. I mean, Pop 42, I think a lot of people don't realize how hard it is to get PSA 10s on the silvers of these. A lot of surface issues. Centering wasn't perfect. Um, these usually do like two to 2,500. Just kind of depends on how Kawhi's playing, honestly. So I think maybe we get like one or two more bids here, but this is about right. Let's see what happens in the next six seconds. We're at $2,126 on the Pop 42 Kawhi. Final call here, guys. There's a bid to 2306 2306 on the Kawhi Silver Prism Rookie. Oh, gosh. I was basically Googling. Googling? I was just fawning over this card on Saturday night, Michael. I love, I love the looks of this card. This, to me, is just an absolutely beautifully stunning card. And it's a 2017 Contenders Premium Edition Gold Prism numbered 7 of 10, LeBron James, Gem Mint, PSA 10. Look at this card, guys. It's gorgeous. $755, 20 bids, 25 seconds left, Michael. You go. Yeah, beautiful, deep gold shine. And the photo is awesome. When Panini actually let the product designers use in-game action shots, not Photoshopped out, they always choose fantastic poses, fantastic backgrounds, and just looks awesome. Great pickup for any LeBron collector. $909, seven seconds to go, 21 bids. Here we go, guys. Three seconds, final call. Sniper's on alert. 956 gets in there on this gorgeous, gorgeous LeBron James card. Zach Swisher speaking on Kawhi says Clippers sliding, but that Kawhi card is big. He's a top 75 member. All right, guys, another Shea Gilgis Alexander 2018 contenders rookie finals ticket auto numbered out of 25. It's in a PSA nine holder. Michael, where does this card rank among his non RPA? rookies in your opinion i think it's definitely up there you'd say okay art you know ntrpa flawless rpa then you go to gold prism uh then you probably go to like championship ticket auto and then right up here right finals ticket is probably your next step down so you know up up in the top 10 outside of the ntrpa yeah. for sure maybe top five Beautiful card, $1,710, 52 bids, four seconds left on the Gilgis Alexander, SGA, 1710. Looks like that's going to do it. No further bidding in the final moments. That's going to take it home on bid number 52 on the SGA. Here's another 90s Kobe insert. This is the 99 Ultra Millennium Men insert. Only 100 copies produced, numbered 86 of 100, right there in the top left corner on the reverse of the card, you guys. Really cool card out of Fleer Ultra. I like it. $1,233 on 44 bids so far and 30 seconds left. Michael, take it away on the Millennium Men Kobe. Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite insert sets from the 90s. They don't pop up like super, super often. So as a result, I think a lot of folks just haven't seen one in person before and can't really realize how cool that like smoked acetate look is. Yeah. Last time one of these sold, it was raw for 2500 It looked very clean. So I think we get closer to 2 k than where we are now, but I, I don't know exactly where. Well, we have three seconds to get there. Now we're at 1675 1675 Well, we got closer, just not all the way there. Let's see what happens on the next card, though. And that is a Jackson Churio 2022 Bowman Chrome Prospect Refractor Auto number out of 499, 271 of 499. This has your double dimes, guys. It's a gem mint 10 on the card and a 10 on the autograph as well. Autograph is laid down beautifully, as always, on these cards. Michael, we're at $1,201. We have 32 bids and 27 seconds to go. Talk to us about Jackson. I mean, the Brewers are confident enough in a 20-year-old to give him $80 million. I mean, that says it all about the, the quality of player that he is. He's going to be on the opening day roster for the Brewers, so massive jump for him, um, which is why I expect we should see a little bit of action here at the end. Um, yeah. Well, 12.26 with five seconds. There's a bid to 12.76 now on bid number 34. Final call, 12.76 on the final call. It does take it home. Next up. Brooks Lee, and I promise you, I am not related to him. Not that I know of. 2022 Bowman Chrome Draft Prospect Orange Refractor Auto out of 25. And look at that auto. 
just perfectly placed, laid down. God, that looks good. What a nice looking card here. PSA 10, $1,006, Michael. 24 bids, 30 seconds to go. Do you think this creeps up any higher? I think so. We had a, another orange sell for 2K a little while ago. So I think that this definitely has some room to go. Admittedly, right, small market team, a little bit earlier on the prospect hype line. You can see some bigger swings in prices. So I don't know if we'll get right to 2K, but I think we see motion. It's a pop five. So five out of the 25 are in this PSA 10 holder. 1,084, four seconds left. Final call, snipers on alert. 1146 from the sniper. 1,836 dollars comes in. Michael, is that what you were expecting? Yeah, that, that's pretty good. Like I said, I mean, you know, an earlier on prospect like that, you're going to see some variants. I was personally thinking like 1600 bucks. So 18 oh. is good. So it impressed. You guys out there impressed tonight. Guys, look at this. We haven't, I don't feel like we've seen an Ellie De La Cruz card for a while here. This is the 2022 Bowman Chrome Green Atomic Refractor, number 27 of 50, autograph, PSA 10 on the card, 10 on the auto, beautiful autograph. Great. This is just such a cool looking card, Michael. Your thoughts on it. We're at 3,250 here with 20 seconds. Yeah, this is a newer parallel in Bowman, but it looks really great. I think it's gorgeous. Um, you know, Ellie's definitely one of those guys. It's going to be very interesting to watch this year. Big year for him. So we'll see. But people love collecting him. 3,250 to 3,383 with three seconds left. Final call. Sniper's on alert. What are you going to do? 3,383 three. takes it home. Takes it home on bid number 28. All right. Paul Skeens, everybody. Paul Skeens. Was that, did I say that right? Yeah. 20, you're smirking. 2023 Bowman Chrome Draft Red Wave Refractor Auto numbered four of only five copies. Again, a beautiful autograph. He let up a little bit here, but that's just in his auto. That's nothing to do with fading or anything like that. It looks really good. PSA 8 on the Red Wave here. Paul Skeens. Michael, we're at $1,701. You got 22 seconds to talk about this guy. I mean, one of the most exciting pitching prospects in, in all of baseball. Um, already getting a little bit of social media hype. Uh, Livy Dunn loves him, so he'll get some Instagram followers. Uh, should go a little bit higher, maybe like 2100 Well, here we go. Four seconds left. We're at 1701 Will there be for further bidding? We don't get there, Michael. We don't get there. 1701 on Mr. Skeens tonight. Zach Swisher reminds us it is opening day this week, everybody, in baseball. All right. We were, love, we were loving this card. My friend Joe Perot, who co-hosted After Hours with me on Saturday night, he was all over this card, Michael. Beautiful 2022 Topps Heritage, high numbers, real one, dual auto, Nolan Ryan and Shohei Otani. It's a PSA 9 on card autos, hand numbered 3 of 25 right here. Beautiful card. We both really liked it. How much do you like this card? This is this is up there. It's one of my favorite cards in the auction. I love that they're both in Angels uniforms. I love the photos for both. The portrait for Shohei is really great. Auto yeah. placement is good. Nolan always places his autos in the best spots. This is about what this card should do. Maybe like one or two bids at the end from somebody trying to be cheeky and snipe. But yeah. Well, let's see. 22 and a quarter, 36 bids. Final call. Snipers on alert. Ah, you were right. $2,225 takes home the dual Nolan Ryan, Shohei Otani. I got to agree with you. I do love that portrait image of Shohei staring right at the camera. I love, I love these 97 essential credentials with all the stars and sparklies in the border here. You got the acetate inlay, a nice die cut Brett Favre layered on top here. We're at $520. It's a PSA 8, 100 copies produced. Serially numbered right down there on the back, 93 of 100. Gorgeous card, $520, Michael, 45 bids. You think we're going to see bid 46 and then some? Oh, yeah, definitely. These usually do like 800 to 1100. Just kind of depends on who needs it for their set on that given night, right? Um, it's gorgeous. Like you said, this really is, it's a very unique year for credentials, but I love it. Well, Sniper on the scene. First time we've seen him tonight. He pulls the trigger twice now to 778. Does he pull it again? 700, 7, 1,326 dollars. That sniper reloaded and unloaded. There we go, everybody. Brett Favre, 1,326 dollars. All right, that was fun. Steph Curry. Let's calm down, everybody. Calm down. Calm down just a little bit. 
Steph Curry, 2021 Panini Spectra in the zone, gold prism auto, number three of three. Beautiful card, Michael. I love the, like the color match is just impeccable. We're at $1,100. Take it away, please. Yeah, I think this is one that, you know, it's not a true gold, but it's a gold prism auto. Looks awesome. Really fun card. Like you said, it's stunning. And it's lower number than a true gold, right? It's numbered out of three. And uh, it's a very clean auto from Steph as always. So I love it. Checks all the boxes. 10 seconds left. $1,100. We have 31 bids. Will we see bid number 32? We don't know. How could we? Let's see. 1258 comes through. Final $1,300. $13 is going to take home the Steph auto. Really cool looking card right there. That's going to bring us to a Nikola Jokic 2015 Panini Crown Royal Rookie Blue Die Cut Auto, numbered 14 to 15. Michael, we were talking about this card also on Saturday. Night. It was one of Joe's picks from the auction and really liked that the auto is offset from the legs, so it's not in the middle of the card like you might expect. I like how he fit it in. What do you guys think of this? <laughs> yeah, I think it's cool. It's like you said, right? It shows that the player actually gave a little bit of care when he was signing. It wasn't just going mechanical. Um, this card is only sold twice publicly. Uh, there was a raw sale at 3K, and then there was a PSA 9 sale at $1,500. So I think we have a little bit of room to go here. Jokic doesn't have a ton of rookie on-card autos, so you know these things are, are always important. Let's see what happens here in the final five seconds. 21 bids so far, 1525 to 1550. Final call, $1,550 takes home the Jokic rookie year auto. And here we have a PMG champ, Roberto Alomar for the Baltimore Orioles. This is numbered 50 of 50. These are these PMG champs are among the most important cards of the 90s, Michael. I know you know that. We're at $860 on the Alomar, 35 seconds to go, 18 bids. Another one where you might not know what's going to happen here. What do you what, what sort of expectations do you have? Probably right around a thousand dollars. Um you know, this is one where somebody's going to need it for, for the set list. Uh, these actually pop up a little bit more common. Uh, for some reason, Alomar has popped up a couple times as opposed to other players in PMG Championship where you don't see them for 10-year gaps. So we have a better, better idea here. Well, let's see. 18 bids, 7 seconds left. We're at $860. They're now at 1,009. Sniper's on alert here. $1,009. $1,259. Takes $1,393. Just gets in under the wire and is going to take home the Roberto Alomar. Will that be paper or plastic? All right, guys. Next up, we have a 1989 score Barry Sanders rookie card, BGS 10. Michael, this card in a PSA 10, I don't know what those are going for right now, but not quite $3,585 like this BGS 10. Special card here, pop 49 in these pristine condition. Michael, your thoughts on where we're at on this card right now? Yeah, this is really strong. So the last time a BGS 10 sold publicly was uh, in 2022, like summer 2022. So it's been a while. And at that point, it sold for $2,900. I think for these older cards, the BGS 10 premium is, is still real. And you love to see that. Um, I think we could go maybe a little tick higher even. Well, we're up to thirty-eight, thirty-six now. This is an iconic card. $3,836. Final opportunity. That's going to do it. Seems like 3836 takes home your BGS 10 score from 1989, Barry Sanders. And that brings us to a 1996 Tops Draft Redemption Kobe Bryant rookie in a BGS 9.5 holder. All subs are 9.5 with Surface coming in at a 9. But this is such a cool looking card, Michael. It's got a bit of an, an atomic feel to it. We're at one thousand three hundred seventy-eight dollars forty-seven bids. Thirty seconds left, Michael. Talk to us about the draft redemption, Kobe. I think this is really cool. It's got a really unique optical effect. It's like cracked ice, but it moves in a pulsar-like fashion. Oh, oh, um, so it's not like sparkled all throughout. It's really cool. They do like twelve to sixteen hundred dollars, kind of depending on the surface and the subs. So this is a pretty strong number already. Well, here we are, fourteen hundred fifty bucks with six seconds left. 48 bids down to two seconds, 1500 now. Final call, 1500 takes it home. 1500 takes it home. I liked how you described it. All right. Jalen Brown, 2016 National Treasures RPA, numbered out of 99, 56 and 99 to be exact. It's a BGS 
nine mint condition card. You've got two nine fives on edges and surface centering nine corners, 8.5. Nice looking card color match. Of course on these great auto. I mean, his auto isn't great, but it's laid down quite nicely. At least a nice patch as well. I mean, this is about as good as it's going to get for a patch like this, Michael, what do you think of this card worth $2,413? Yeah, especially since you do see on the far right edge of it, you do see just the hint of another letter coming in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's a pretty good two-color patch. This feels about right for where it's at. Jalen Brown's mark has definitely slowed down a little bit. All right, five seconds. There's a bid to $2,480. Final seconds here, guys. Final moments. Whoa, did you see that? This jumps to 4000 Five hundred and fifty-one dollars. Michael Hathaway is mystified but loving it. Congratulations, everybody! That took a jump, a jump. It sure did. All right, we have Omalu eight hundred eight joining us in the chat. First time watcher says fun way to watch auctions. Glad you think so, Omalu. Thanks for joining. Welcome to the show. And here we have a Shea Gilgis Alexander twenty eighteen certified mirror black rookie one of one. BGS nine mint condition or 2888. Michael, please say some words on this card. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous card. Definitely has a beautiful look in person. It doesn't really get captured by camera or video. Um, black one one rookie. You love to see it, right? Just checks all the boxes. I think this maybe like $3,500. 2938 right now with three seconds to go. Where's the sniper? 2938, 33 bids. That's going to do it, though, $2,938. And we are now on to a Kevin Garnett 1997 Fleer Ultra Platinum Medallion, numbered out of 100, number 98 of 100, BGS 8.5, guys. These cards are very, very popular amongst your 90s basketball collectors, your player collectors. These platinum medallions are beautiful. Michael, you've held this one in hand. Tell us about it. It kind of looks a little monotone, but tell us why it's so nice. Yeah, no, it, it's like this almost foiled surface that really sparkles under the light. And they do love these. I mean, a PSA 2 sold for 500 bucks last week. Like when a <laughs> card is selling for a couple hundred bucks in a 2, you know people want it. Um, this is pretty strong. This honestly feels uh, nice. I can see us maybe getting to like 2,500. Someone really wants it, which looks like they might. It's almost there. 2,247, 2,275, 54 bids. That's going to do it. $2,275 on the Kevin Garnett Platinum Medallion from 1997. Numbered out of 100. Here is a Kevin Durant. We go from Kevin Garnett to Kevin Durant. 2007 Upper Deck Premier Rookie Quad Jersey Auto. 20 of 25. It's a BGS Near Mint Mint 8. Michael, not a, I mean, these are jerseys in here versus patches, but it presents really well. This card autograph looks pretty good as well. A, a slight, a little bit streaky at the very end, but that's just the way he signed it. What do you think of this one? Of this KD yeah. card? It, it's, it's nice. Um, I think you, you hit it right. I mean, it's a jersey, it's not a patch, it's a clean auto. I think this is one where you kind of go, I want a KD RBA in the collection, but I don't want to shell out for exquisite. I just want some of the nice design, and, and this is really your option. $1,807, 35 bids, four seconds to go, three seconds now. Will we see action? Final call, 1,807, takes home the KD. And now we are on to GA, Giannis Antetokounmpo, everybody. 2013 Intrigue Prime Rookie Patch Auto, numbered one of 10, BGS 8.5. The auto grades out of 10. Look at that long auto. I mean, there's not enough. There, They don't make cards big enough for his last name, so that's not too bad. I like this little three-color patch right there. You got a lot of mesh. We got the green and the orange in there as well. It's numbered right there, right above my 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 mouse guys. Numbered one of ten. Nice pick of a young Giannis. We're at two thousand twenty-four dollars. Twenty-four seconds left, Michael. Over to you. Yeah, pretty much all these have been doing like twelve hundred dollars, but they've all had one color napkins. I mean, a three-color patch on this is definitely elevates the card. So I'm pretty happy here. All right, we got 10 seconds to go. We're at $2,100, 28 bids, six seconds now, everybody. Will we see action? Final call, snipers on alert. 2150 gets in there on bid number 30, and that's going to do it on the Giannis. All right, we're coming down to the final, final 10 or so cards here, guys. This is a 2020 Tops Star Wars Mandalorian Stellar Auto Green 
number 12 of 20. The autograph is of the actor inside that Mandalorian suit, and that is Pedro Pascal. Michael, did you watch the Mandalorian series? I know I did. You didn't. Oh, God. It was really good. I loved it. I like all these little Star Wars uh, miniseries they're doing. In, in any event, we have 17 bids. We're at $3,550, and we have about a minute and a half left to go. Michael, you want you want to take a break? You want to go grab a glass of water? What do you want? We got we got all this time. We're not used to all this time right now here on on this regular MC Monday. Let's take it. Let's take a take a breather. Take a breath. What do you think of this card, Michael? I, I like this. Um, I I'm already on my second cup of tea. So there you go. I like this card. Um, I love seeing the the enthusiasm that people have for the Star Wars sets. It's really nice. It's always well made. Um, and honestly, it's it's a much more affordable rip than basketball or baseball. So if you love Star Wars, buy this product instead of buying a Prism Hobby Box. You're, you're going to thank yourself. Um, we just sold his blue auto uh, of this card for $3,400, $3,500, something like that. And that's numbered out of 25. So th this tracks about right that you'll see a little bit of a premium for going down. Even though I, I think personally the blue looked better like it just worked better with uh with the image and with the auto so i think we'll see and we are seeing a, a little tick up and a little tick up so maybe like 4k on the dot well let's see we're at 3800 tom newman says he was so good in narcos and yes he sure was i love that was a great series tom i agree with you on that okay guys we have 22 bids we're at three thousand eight hundred dollars we have five seconds to go will we see a sniper come in and take this home or will it settle in at 3,800? Looks like it's the latter. It's going to settle in at 3,800 on the Pedro Pascal Mandalorian Star Wars Auto. But that this is the LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball was not in Star Wars, not that I know of. This is from 2020 Panini Flawless Rookie Diamond Platinum True 1 of 1. It's a PSA 10. Pretty good for a big, thick card like this. Just got a bid to $2,275. We have 35 seconds left and 30 26 bids so far, Michael. What do you think about these flawless diamond cards? Um, it's cool. I, I like it. I think the prices are are a little high, personally. Um, just the fact that there's no auto, there's no patch, but it is a pro it is a card that the product is really oriented around, so I understand it. And the platinum hollow foil does look awesome in person. Yeah. Like it just it pops, it's gorgeous. All right, guys, five seconds left, 28 bids, 23.75. Now $2,939. Whoa, did you see that? 2900 jumped up to $4,495 in the final moments. Tenths of a second, big sale right there. Big jump at the end. Skeppy says, I can't wait until MC gets a high-end Ken Stabler. Up for auction, Stabler. I always find these guys make fun of me because I never know how to pronounce his name. Stout, I think it's Stabler. All right, <laughs> Bobby Witt Jr., 2020 Bowman Chrome Prospect Gold Refractor, numbered 42 of 50. This is a PSA 9 on the card, a 10 on the auto. Now, this is the gold, guys. Look, that autograph is just beautifully laid down, as they always are. God, I'm a broken record with that. Really nice card here, Michael. Oh, we're down to 10 seconds. Anything you want to you, take it home, Michael? Take it home. This has got to go up. I mean, BGS 95 did 7K on all. Yeah, there we go. There we go. A couple bids. Now we're up to $3,800. $4,049 comes in. That thing almost doubled in the final few seconds, and you called it. All right, guys. Trey Lance. 2021 Panini Absolute Kaboom Gold Rookie, number 9 of 10. It's a BGS 9.5. It is a true gem, all subgrades, coming in at a 9.5. It's a beautiful card. You got you got all sorts of color matching going on here. The gold and the helmet, the gold and the card, the red to the red. We're at $1,775, 48 bids, 30 seconds. Michael, talk about this beauty. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I mean, the gold Kabooms look absolutely awesome. Um, really one of the best inserts that you'll see um gonna be interesting to see where this lands this is honestly a little stronger than i thought it would do we sold the green one one uh for forty eight hundred dollars so this feels very high already but well, still trying it's climbing it's climbing 1914 now 2026 now 2183 on 54 bids we had snipers battling it out on the back end of that one and let's move on to the next card it is a kobe big men on court this is from 1997 skybox 
Z-Force. These are cool cards. It's a BGS 10 pristine, Michael. Pop 7 for $2,551. $2,850 now. 57 bids. $2,966 now, guys. 58 bids. 26 seconds. If I keep saying that, Michael, the bids will keep coming in. $29.66. Michael, you tell us a few things about this one. I think they'll keep coming in. Really tough answer to get in high grade. We sold a BGS 10 for $3,600 back in February. I think we climb up pretty close to that, like $3,400 maybe. All right. Well, here we go. Final seven seconds, 59 bids. We're still at $29.66. We saw a flurry of activity there. And what's going to happen in the final second? Nothing more. 60. Oh, it comes in. The bid gets in there under the wire. $3,474 on bid number 61 on the big men on court. BGS 10 pristine Kobe Bryant. Tyrese Maxi 2020 contenders rookie ticket cracked ice auto numbered out of 25. His gorgeous sprawling autograph is beautifully laid down. Number 10 of 25. Love the cracked ice look. PSA 10 on the card. 10 on the auto, Michael. We're at $3,561. Tyrese Maxey, got a lot of room left in him or what? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I think that Tyrese is an excellent player on a team that's pretty solid but still needs one or two pieces. But the Sixers are always kind of on the verge of doing something really great. So I think that a lot of people are still excited. The team's good enough to support it. And it's the true cracked ice 10 10. Like, it's awesome. Well, here we go. 35, 6, 47, 39 now. 4,000, $5,039. The card just jumped about 50% in the final second on the Tyrese Maxi. It is a pretty cool card. $5,039, guys. Six cards left. And we have a Topps Chrome Refractor. Steph Curry, rookie, numbered out of 500. We're at $6,444. This is a BGS 5.5. We talked about this one on Saturday night. We kind of figured this is a, the way into this card is right here tonight because these cards were doing 150K in top grade. And now we can get this one for under 10 grand. Michael, your thoughts? Yeah, I, I agree. We sold the PSA 4 of this uh, last year for $8,000. And it really is, like you said, I mean, there's only three parallels for this card, right? Gold, refractor, gold, and then the super refractor, right? So a refractor is a big deal here. And you got to get your foot in the door and maybe like $7,500 will do it. Well, let's see here. 6,000, four, four, four is going to take home the BGS 5 and a half. Steph Curry, Refractor, Auto. All right, guys. Michael Jordan, 1997 Flair Showcase Legacy Collection Row 2. This card is numbered on the back out of 188 of 100. 88, that was Eric Lindros's number back in the early 90s. Guys, you all remember that, don't you? All right, we are sitting in a PSA 8 slab. It's a beautiful Michael Jordan card. We are at $5,105. Michael, 45 bids, 28 seconds left. Talk about this one. Yeah, really gorgeous. I mean, it shows off why we love those showcase legacy collection cards. Really beautiful foil, really great photo selection. Kind of the collision of images is always interesting. Just a, a really cool card. And listen, guys, Chase Low number Jordan's like nothing else. They do. We have eight seconds left. 45 bids. We haven't seen a bid yet. There it comes. 5,600 now. 6,000 now with one second to go. 6,100. 6,100 takes it home. We saw some activity in the end. And the next item up for bid tonight is none other than of, of the Dallas Cowboys, Elvis Presley, everybody. I'm kidding. Elvis Presley, 2008 Razor, cut signature edition, signed auto, one of one. Michael, the only thing, uh, number one, I love that it looks like it's on like a Sheraton matchbook cover, right? I think that's really cool. I kind of wish they put something on the white out here, but talk about it, please. Uh, it's funny you mentioned that because I actually also love the fact that it's on a branded thing you can kind of place it to like oh somebody met elvis in a hotel and they were so excited and they're just grabbing the first thing they see um you know americana right here yeah. right um an oversized box topper from tops to 3800 i don't think we get there just because it's razor but i think we get closer to 3k well let's see if we do in the next two seconds here 2426 dollars do we get any closer oh time to time to polish that crystal ball a little bit michael on the Elvis, at least, 2,426 takes home the Elvis cut auto, matchbook auto. 
another Tyrese Maxi. This is the National Treasures Rookie Patch Auto, the RPA, numbered out of 99. Guys, check out that patch. It's 3D. That patch is gorgeous. I really love it. The autograph is very nicely laid down. 43 of 99 copies produced. It's a BGS 9.5 with a 10 auto. All subgrades are 9.5, except edges in a 9, Michael. We're at 8,600. How much higher are we going to go? Uh, I think this is actually a very nice number right here. And this is honestly a little higher than you'd think, but you said it, right? That patch is insane. Like around the office, we're handing this around and saying this has to be like a top 10 patch for Maxi NT that we've ever seen. I love the 3D nature of, of the stitching there. $8,600, 40 bids, three seconds to go. Will we see action? Final two seconds now. No further action. 40 bids, takes it home for $8,600. Two items left to go. We have this Luka Doncic 2018 Crown Royal Kaboom Rookie BGS 9.5. Michael, this is early-ish Kaboom, isn't it? 2018? $11,610. Talk about it, Michael. Talk about it. Yes, this would be like fourth or fifth year of Kaboom. So Kabooms had established himself, but I mean, this is a Luka Rookie Kaboom, right? That's really the big thing. Uh, last time one of these sold in 9.5 was in 2022 for 10K. And then a PSA 10 just sold for $22,000, $23,000 in January. So I think we have a little bit of room to go here. I mean, if you collect Luca, this is like the big Luca rookie insert, right? You got it's amazing. And it's, I like how it says Doncic in such big letters along the bottom, too. 13.5 now, 13.6 now, two seconds left, 13.6, 36 bids, 13.6. Takes it home. Zach Swisher says 2013 was the first year at Kaboom. I believe thank you to Zach Swisher. Always very helpful. Let's go through some comments, guys, because the, ne the next and last card, we have about eight minutes until this card. And we were we actually considered just let's end the show. But, Michael, we're not going to. We're going to wait it out. And we are going to watch this card. And a couple of reasons. Number one, it's part of MC Mondays. Number two. It's an amazing card. I've been looking forward to this card all week. It's on my personal watch list on, on eBay because I'm interested in this card. We were going crazy over this card on Saturday night on my after hour show late night with Joe Perot. We love, well, he's not, he, he was not a Chargers fan. I mean, I kind of was. I, I would, I almost became a, back in the junior, junior Sayo days, you know, I was, a, I liked the Chargers back then. I think this card's amazing. Ladanian is, you know, an all time great, all time great running back. And this is a very important card is I have some information. Actually, the consigner of this card reached out to me, Michael, and gave me some info. And I want to share that with everybody. Uh, yeah, Zach says, indeed, it's a big, big LT. So let me go to the, let me go to a bit of information I have on this. If, if you don't mind, Michael, is that all right? All right. So this comes right from the consigner, you guys. He says to me, Jeremy, for this year of football, 2001, the top two rookie cards are the Bowman Comb. Bowman Chrome Gold Refractor out of 99 and the Topps Chrome Black Refractor out of 100. That's that's not this one. This is the first one. This is the Bowman Chrome Gold. He says the Bowman Chrome Gold is the only gold refractor for rookies that year in football. Really interesting stuff. And now I'm not and I'm looking away from what he's he's like the most important player that year. So that this may that makes this card maybe the biggest card out of 19 out of 2001. Continuing on in terms of populations for the Bowman Chrome Gold and the Topps Chrome Black, just to compare, they are as follows. Bowman Chrome Gold, BGS 10, one. This is the copy right here, guys. This is a pop one. PSA 10, there's four. BGS 9.5, there's 10. PSA 9, there's 19. So this sits atop all the rest of these particular cards. Last sale for Bowman Chrome Gold was a PSA 9 that sold for $1,800,000 on February 19th, 2024. There are no recent PSA 10 comps. Okay, Topps Chrome, no BGS 10s. Again, this isn't the Topps Chrome, but he's comparing. No 10s, two PSA two PSA 10s, no, B, no BGS 10s, 13 BGS 9.5s, and 20 PSA 9. What the point he's making here is that this card is in elusive territory, Michael. Easily the best rare Tomlinson card of the year. No recent sales of the PSA 10 for the uh, Topps Chrome. He goes on to say, it was a very, he's telling me now about this card. I'm going to read this to you guys. It was a very tough decision letting it go. It was the first big LT purchase he made back in 2021, but he's changed as a collector since then, and it was time to move on. He hopes this card ends up in a very good home. 
There's also been really strong sales of the PSA 10 Topps Chrome Base Refractor out of 999. He thinks it's a Pop 17. So anyway, there you have it, guys. Information from the current owner of the card. So keep that in mind. And I did not verify any of that population data. So take that under advisement as well, that I did not verify that population information. But Michael, we know it's a Pop 1. This is such a beautiful card. I, I, I love this card, man. So... Listen, I'm gonna. We have four and a half minutes till it ends. Take your time. Give us your thoughts on this card, please. Yeah. So this is one of those cards where I think the BGS and and we talked about it a little bit with the Barry Sanders, right? On some cards, the BGS 10 premium is real over the PSA 10, and this is one of the, those cards where I think it 100% should be because you look at how difficult to grade this card is. Black border on the front and the back, refractor surface, old card. And I mean, just go to that back and. It, how this thing doesn't get destroyed over time, how this thing doesn't get chipped and banged up is incredible. So, you know, you talk about a card that's extremely difficult to get, you know, even call it a BGS 9.5 on to get a 10 is is truly remarkable. Then, uh, you know, listen, you talk about a position where time really tells the story of greatness and running back is one of those positions that, we see guys come to the league every year and we say, he's so incredible. He's so amazing. And then three years later, they're out of the league. And so mm -hmm. those running backs who have the ability, who have the mindset, who have the talent to change their approach to the game with their physical abilities is just amazing. And that's really when you get into legendary status, right? I think it's no surprise that you know, some of the biggest names – in the hobby on the football side are those legendary running backs. There's obviously the quarterbacks are always going to be the top guys, but you go down there and, you know, it's incredible what, what a really talented running back can do once they prove the longevity and greatness, people shell out for that. And LT is, yeah. you know, kind of the definition of that. So, yeah. And, and a couple guys, Tom and Zach were pointing out that, you know, Breeze and Vic are, are also from this year. And you talk about a great rookie class. I mean, Michael Vic, Drew Breeze, LT. That's a good top three. It's a good. Like that's a, that is a ball. That's a good, good rookie era. class. Good rookie class for sure. Sorry, what did you say there at the end? I missed it. Um, oh, I mean, you know, you just talk about top three. You know, to define an era. You know, Tomlinson, Breeze, Vic. That, that's a pretty incredible trio. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, Zach Swisher does say that LT had one of the greatest MVP seasons ever. Tom Newman. There's only there's only been two Hall of Fame running backs in the last 20 years, uh, LT and uh, I guess Adrian Peterson being AP. So that's uh, that's impressive. Like, what about there's there's there are others, but just not. Are, are we thinking no one else since then is is going to be? What about like Frank Gore and some of these guys from the the 2000s there that were pretty good at their position? And now we've got, we've got some. You know, you got. McCaffrey right now among, among a few others that are you know having they're tracking if they can keep it up and have a long career but uh oh Zach Swisher says Sean Alexander oh god his rookie cards were all I remember when his rookie cards came out and they were all the rage didn't last forever though that's the thing running backs you got to be careful with I'd prefer to buy them you know at the end like this one tonight I think this is such a great card Tom Newman says Frank Gore he was good the year I had him in my fantasy so I don't know. He was good for me that year. Tom says just played a long time ago. Yes. Uh, okay, Michael, we're at two thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars now on this. Really, to me, it's it's not the biggest card in the auction, but to me, I think it's it's up there with among my favorites with that Gretzky, uh, Mc, with that Gretzky McDavid or the Gretzky Lemieux dual scripted. We had we had the Mark McGuire essential credentials. I loved the Brett Favre. Even I loved it. This is a great card. And it's a BGS 10 that still holds prestige in our hobby. Pop one, 99 copies produced, 99 copies produced right there. Amazing. I love the gold within the frame here, Michael. We have 30 seconds left. We just got a bid. We're up to $3,049, 25 seconds left, 51 bids. Zach Swisher says, is this your lane? It would be my lane if I had three grand to plop down on a card right now. Zach, I would love to, I would love to buy this card. I'm literally just like fawning over it here. I think it's beautiful. Michael, eight seconds. We're going to see some bids? I think we see a little bit more. Yeah, we did. 3750 to 
dollars. There was somebody waiting all week for this card, Michael, and they just put in that bid at the end and got it for five thousand six hundred and fifty-five dollars. I hope that the consigner who I was communicating with is happy with that. But even I want to say more importantly, I hope the buyer is happy. I know I would be if I just took home this card. Love it. Congratulations to the buyer, the seller, and everybody. Skeppy here says, I think fantasy heroes like LT will realize more value down the road. I like that. I like that, Skeppy. I'm with you on that. Zach's happy for the seller. I'm happy for both sides of it. Michael, how about you? Did this end kind of where you thought it would? You know, this was one where we we had a good feeling of what the floor would be. So we figured, okay, three grand, like that's got to be the rock bottom for it. But really, as you get higher and it comes down to what kind of a premium do you put on that pop one BGS 10? Because as we discussed a couple times, you know, the premium that a BGS 10 gets has come and gone over the years. It's kind of sp sector specific. So we thought that we thought about putting this in the showcase auction because um, we thought there is a chance that it crosses 5K, which, hey, thankfully it did. But there was also the question of, well, you know, what if somebody just doesn't really put a huge premium on the BGS 10 and they're like, I'm going to go, you know, 20% over the PSA 10 sale. OK, then, you know, we're falling a, a little flat. But no, I think it did really well. I think this is one of those cards that somebody realized, like, like we said, it's not the most expensive card in the world. But for a very significant chunk of people out there, this is a kind of collection defining card that, you know, when you go to a trade night or you're getting somebody into the hobby, you open up the case and you go, you got to see this, right? Like you won't believe what I've got in here. And this is one of those cards. And, and so the seller did well on it. And I'm thrilled for the buyer because now they get the joy of being able to spin that case around and be like, you got to see what I got. Yeah. And that's that's what cards are all about, right? Having really cool things that just make us happy. Exactly. Yeah, this card makes me happy looking at. I just really, really like it. James Wynn says, the last great running back. And Zach says, that's the reason I bought the Mike and BGS 10 Auto a few weeks ago. You just can't really expect that great all the time. And he's right about that. He is right about that. BGS 10s are not just handed out left, right, and center. The pristine, they are tough to get. And of course, the black is even tougher. All right, guys, what an auction. We just ran through 93 cards. That is a record for MC Mondays, Michael. That is a record number of auctions for us to go through. That was a ton of fun. It went by super fast for me. I mean, I don't know about you, but that was that was awesome. So thank you for joining. Adrian Peterson is the last, says Skeppy. Got it. Thank you, Skeppy. Uh, that was a lot of fun, guys. If everybody watching, and again, we had... We had, we've, we've still got over 30 people watching on X slash Twitter. We got about 50 on YouTube. We've had about 150 people come through on Instagram tonight. So I want to thank everybody who has been here. And, you know, if you want to consign your cards to MC Sports Cards, the M email is right below us on the screen. It's been there all night, guys. All night. Info at mcsportscards.com. I got to look so my camera sits in front of the screen. So I'm like, where, where, what, what else does it say? Reach out to them. And if you bought from, from them on eBay, you have their email already. You can reach out to these guys on Instagram as well. I know you're already following them. And if you're not, you can find them through my video description as well. No problem finding these guys. Zach Swisher says, again, I say it every live. I appreciate the knowledge provided on these lives. Zach, appreciate that comment and Zach says MC is the only place I have consigned. Nice to hear that. Nice to hear that. Keep it up, Zach. Keep it up. Gives us gives us more material, more things to talk about. So, all right, that was awesome, Michael. Parting comments from you, and then we're gonna wrap this one up. Yeah, really fun to get a, a big kind of marathon one in, right? Ninety items. That's uh, that's awesome. Really exciting. You know, I mean, every week we're still getting a great clutch of items for uh, for MC Monday and. You know, the showcase is really starting to ramp up. Definitely very excited about that. As we mentioned, for anyone who wasn't at here at the start of the show, we've already got almost 30 items uh, already committed for our next showcase auction, which will start on the 12th. Um, that's for like a really premium, super high end items. So we're really thrilled about that. And uh, that'll that'll definitely be a fun show because there's some stuff on this list that, that we'll want to talk about. So really excited and like you said jeremy i mean you did my job for me info at mcsportscards.com reach out on instagram consign underscore with underscore mc 
um, message us on eBay if you bought from us in the past. We're here to help you out. I mean, from small consignments to large consignments, we're ready to help you access that value that you have in your cards, no matter what you want to do. If you're consolidating to a big card, you're taking some money out, going on vacation, we're here to help you turn the cards into the value that they have. So, yeah, we're always excited to help people do that. And, uh, hey, we get to enjoy some cool cards in the process. And that's uh, that's really the joy of it all. Right on. All right. Well, good stuff, Michael. That was that was fun. That, that, these are so much fun to do. All the action. Guys in the chat us on YouTube, if you're watching us on X, I got to get my head around X versus Twitter. You know, it's like, do people know what you're talking about? I don't know. Instagram guys, thank you for joining. This was a blast. We'll be doing the showcase auction. It ends on the 22nd of April. The showcase ends the 22nd. We'll be back for that one for sure. And uh, we're looking to do another sort of a, a special MC show, perhaps this Thursday even. So stay tuned uh, for that. Uh, if, if we if we actually get that done and planned out, I think we will. But that could happen on Thursday. Uh, a new type of show that we're talking about doing to kind of help educate everybody out there in the, you know, in the sports cards live community and the MC community as well. So for those of you who are still with us, thank you for joining. Hope to see you back again here, possibly on Thursday. If not, I got a sports cards live episode also happening this coming Saturday. So with that, Michael, on behalf of myself and my, my co-host here, Mr. Michael Hathaway, the crystal ball. Thanks everybody for joining this episode of MC Mondays live for March the 25th, 2024 is now over.